Hi there, I'm Chris Johnson from Sim Insights, and I'm happy to be walking you through the process of authoring throughout or through the web tool that we have on our website. So to begin, first you're going to want to go to SimInsights.com, then you're going to hit this Try Now button. This will redirect you to the sign up process, or if you already have created an account, which I have in my case, it will automatically transfer you to here. Then you would want to hit Try Hyperskill Online, and this will open up a new window in your browser causing you to be redirected into the authoring platform of Hyperskill. Once it has loaded into your browser, you will see that it will go to the home screen. Now, to begin, we are going to want to hit Simulations, and we are going to create our new simulation. So you're going to want to go to the button in the upper right-hand corner to create a new simulation, and you're going to navigate to the space you want. I'm going to select the public classroom. I'm just going to go with Molecule Demonstration. And then I'm going to hit Create. Then you can select your Create Simulation, where you can edit your simulation, copy, delete, share, or experience, or rename your simulation here. And we're going to go into Edit, because otherwise this is currently an empty space with just the classroom. This should quickly load and put us into here. And we will then be within the space. You can navigate around with the W, A, and D keys, or by holding right mouse click, or down with your right mouse button to rotate your camera, and in conjunction to move about the space. This pink cube with an arrow, oops, sorry, this pink cube with an arrow sticking out of it is where your players will spawn as well as what direction they will face. You can manipulate it by going to the set spawn position button here, which will let you change the initial position of the player throughout your simulation, and you can left click to drop, and then rotate the view until it's the orientation you want. In my case, I'm going to want them facing this direction here. All right. So with this, this should conclude how you get started within the simulation editing process. And I will go over how to bring in the assets as well as walk us through the initial settings for our project. Thank you.